everyone here. Uh, this is a video on threads in Java. Let's see. Java appear. Anyway, so I actually had somebody ask me to make a video for this because it was really confusing. In uh, the class he was taking, and um, here we go. So make a new prod. And um, package and a class. Okay, now for the package. Okay, and the class. So we're gonna call this main. And let's check that, not that. We don't need constructors for this class. I probably just hinted to you that we're gonna have multiple class in this video. So, you'd be something new. Okay, so then we're gonna create a new class and let's call it that thread one and uh, constructor from super class. Okay, so you see here. Uh, there is something we want to do though we want to set something here there so um we're gonna make that an array uh, watch my previous video on arrays if you don't understand that quite yet okay so now we are going to uh, create some stuff here okay so we're gonna need to uh, import Java Util dot scanner okay and then we're gonna need to create a scanner itself Okay, and then we're gonna need a string, static string s, uh, an integer array, okay, so uh, just like in the class he was doing, uh, or he is doing rather uh, we're gonna do the program that he wanted or similar to or something uh, maybe not probably not
we're gonna we're gonna make a timer. Okay, so uh, we can go over to this in here. Okay, then go to refactor and rename. Okay, so we can get rid of this array. Total time and get rid of that. Okay, so now we can do this. So we, we just create the basic structure of the program itself. Okay. And then s equals scanner one dot next line okay and then we're gonna need the actual thread public static thread t okay and this is very important to do in the class here we have to type extends thread and that'll make it so that this accepts it okay so we're gonna need to do t equals new okay just wait one second Whoa. T equals new timer integer dot parse int s. Okay, so that basically tells the thread that when it's activated, go to this class. Okay, and then we need to do t dot start. Okay, now time. greater than zero greater than or equal than um, minus minus okay So now if we press function F2, okay.
Okay, you know what? No effect. We don't even need that. Okay, so let's just delete that. There. There. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Okay. So. Now we're going to need to do. Uh, System.out.print print line okay then we can do try thread dot sleep other than this, catch exception E. We could not suspend the thread. So there we go. Um, basically what this does is causes the program to sleep. on this main.java uh, here it is it should open up very soon okay so let's say 10 seconds isn't that so amazing right Okay, so slash b is supposedly uh, the escape sequence for delete. Okay, so that's where we're going to try this out. So let's put it on for five seconds. Okay, it's an, uh, it's an unknown escape sequence. Okay, so here Oops, 
let's try a slash T. Okay, so slash T is tab. slash F and slash R then run I'm sorry I'm kind of experimenting with these two okay apparently slash F types a square <laughs> as well as slash B so now that it really worked. Well, that's a bummer. But, oh well. Of course, we could try this in the standard console, but we don't need to do that. Anyway, that's, that's what it does. That's how you make a thread. That's how you start it. That's, that's what you do. There are several different ones, but this is by far the easiest that I've Goodbye.